subject english class 5th to 7th types of pronoun today's topic is types of pronoun we have already discussed about what is a pronoun where is types of pronoun and today we are going to discuss about types of pronoun so let's start first types of pronoun is personal pronoun now what is a personal pronoun the word the words that directly represent the person or thing yes look the words the words which means i we you the words that directly represent the person or thing that is pr personal pronoun and here in english three types of a person first person second person and third person what is a first person first person basically we can say that the speaker when when uh, when where two persons are talking to each other jab do log aapas mein baat karte hain the first one is that the speaker we call first person let's take an example i go to market here i the highlighted word is a first person and second we are going to market then we is the first person now number 2 second person look when two persons are talking about first is the speaker and second that is the listener we can say that the listener or that refers to addressee when the speaker when the speaker address to the second person that is a addressee the second person is which means refers to addressee that is the second person take an example you go to the market here the first person that is i that talk to talking to the second person that you go to the market here the highlighted word you is a second person now move on to a third person what is a third person indicates a third party which means indicate a third party when the both are talking to each other and the third person that is listening them that is the third person indicates a third party individually other than the speaker the uh, so he she it they all are third person now move to the second type of pronoun is possessive pronoun look what is a possessive pronoun possessive pronoun when those words which indicate possession or ownership or on anything which means when uh, um, uh, anyone or any person when they uh, show our ownership in that particular thing or uh, place or uh, person that is a possessive pronoun uh, let's take an example this is my room and this room is mine here the mine the word is mine is show the possession of in the uh, noun that is room now moves on number 3 reflexive pronoun what is a reflexive pronoun uh the action performed by the subject is on the subject itself yes what is a reflex a reflexive pronoun when the action that does by uh, does by the uh, noun or pronoun and it performed by the subject is on the subject itself let's take an example which is better to understand the concept the example is the child amused himself here the a uh, child amused himself is a reflexive pronoun now move on number 4 that is emphatic pronoun what is a emphatic pronoun emphatic pronoun when a reflexive pronoun is used to give emphasis emphasis particular noun or pronoun when a reflexive pronoun reflexive pronoun as himself ourself myself yourself itself etc that is used to give emphasize particular noun or pronoun let's take an example she herself said so so here herself that is emphasize particular the noun that is she or a pronoun she and there is a emphasize on it that is a emphatic pronoun now move on number 5 what is a demonstrative pronoun 
डेमोन्स्ट्रेटिव प्रोनाउन इट इज सो इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ डेमोन्स्ट्रेटिव प्रोनाउन इट इज सिंपली पॉइंट आउट द नाउन दे ऑल आर पॉइंट आउट द नाउन दिस दैट दीज दो टेक एन एग्जाम्पल दिस इज अ माइटी लॉइन देन दिस दैट इंडिकेट द लॉइन दैट इज आर नाउन और प्रोनाउन नंबर टू दैट इज अ चेयर दैट हेयर दैट दैट रेफर्स टू द चेयर Now move on the number six part of interrogative pronoun. What is interrogative pronoun? When we generally ask about something, when we put up some questions to someone to anyone, that is interrogative pronoun. The words, the words specifically when uh, when we used for uh, asking some questions to someone, that is a interrogative interrogative pronoun. Take an example. Who are you? Here the word who. Uh, the word who is a interrogative pronoun that put up a question to someone that is you okay now move on relative pronoun what is a relative pronoun it is used to relate to a noun that has been mentioned before yes look here it is very close to interrogative pronoun or relative pronoun but there is a, a similarity on only the word that is who whom which what not the concept of them interrogative or relative that is the big difference between what is it it is uh, it is used to relate to a noun that has been mentioned before take an example that is the boy who lost his way here look the word who that is also interrogative pronoun but here that is relate to the noun that is mentioned before yes for the boy so we have to easily understand what the word or sentence is trying to say that the word who that is a relative pronoun who is relate with the person that is already mentioned about that is noun boy for here we used who for the boy so who is our relative pronoun now move on the last but not at the list indefinite pronoun uh, indefinite pronoun as anybody many each few little etc uh, when an indefinite pronoun refers to a noun refers to a noun in a general or a indefinite way for example we already shows that anybody may each feel little etc now we uh, let's take an example none of us was there here the none is our indefinite pronoun all of you are in the wrong here the word all is our indefinite pronoun so now you have now you all are able to uh, solve the exercise related with types of pronoun especially possessive pronoun interrogative pronoun personal pronouns